More countries around the world recorded new cases of the Omicron coronavirus variant on Monday, with Spain, Sweden, Canada and the Netherlands confirming its arrival, as the international community mobilises to protect their borders. On Monday, US President Joe Biden said he believes it's a cause for concern, but not one for panic. We'll have to face this new threat just as we face those that come before it. But while we have that travel restrictions can slow the speed of Omicron, it cannot prevent it. But here's what it does. It gives us time, it gives us time to take more actions, to move quicker, to make sure people understand you have to get your vaccine. Several countries have recently banned travel to many southern African states, including the UK, US and European Union a decision criticised by South Africa's government as well as the World Health Organization. The people of Africa cannot be blamed for the immorally low level of vaccinations available on the continent, and they should not be penalised for identifying and sharing crucial science and health information with the world. The African Union's vaccine chief has agreed, saying the West hoarding vaccines and then banning travel due to a new variant is not a surprise. What is going on right now is in inevitable. It's as a result of the world's failure to vaccinate in an equitable, urgent and, 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 and speedy manner. It is as a result of hoarding by, by high-income countries of the world. And quite frankly, it is unacceptable. Many countries have praised South Africa for its rapid detection of Omicron earlier this month. The new variant's initial evidence suggests a higher transmissibility. So far, no deaths linked to Omicron have been reported but more research is needed to determine its overall risk.